happening, everyone? This is Lucas Ross Sports, Lucas Ross, your commentator, and it's time for another top 10 video. Yesterday, I gave you a top 10 head coaches heading into the hot seat in the upcoming 2022 season. Now, I'm going to give you the top 10 quarterbacks heading into the 2022 season, and I'm going to give you my best, you know, top 10 here, top 10 best quarterbacks. I didn't find these online just for, you know, saying that I didn't find anybody on this top 10 list online. I just came up with top 10 quarterbacks that I think are going to be really good quarterbacks coming into this season. And these quarterbacks pretty much had a good season last year, and I think that's why they belong on this list. I mean, some of them had bad years, but I think this will be their year heading into this season. So let's get right into it here. The top 10 quarterbacks heading into the 2022 college football season. And we start with number 10, and that is Tyler Van Dyke of Miami. I think he's going to have a pretty good season. I think he's definitely a Heisman Trophy contender. Pretty much all these quarterbacks on this list you're going to see are pretty much Heisman candidates. I mean, if they have a good season or not. But I think Tyler Van Dyke is going to be a great quarterback this year. Look at his numbers from last year. He threw 25 touchdowns, six interceptions, almost 3,000 yards of passing. I mean, he came in off the bench. I mean, he pretty much had a really good season. And if he completes that percentage of his quarterback percentage, I mean, he, he has a chance to be a good seat. It's, it has a chance to be a really good quarterback. I think he's definitely a top five quarterback. But I had there were so many quarterbacks to choose from. And I think he's definitely at number 10. But all these quarterbacks on this list are pretty good. They're pretty even. But I think Tyler Van Dyke is going to have a pretty good season. So stay tuned for what he does this year. If he gets stay healthy as well, Tyler Van Dyke will have a great season. And this is a veteran Miami team, a loaded team coming back both sides of the ball. So I think Tyler Van Dyke is number 10 on my top 10 quarterback list. We go to number 9, and that is DJ Ogale of Clemson. I know fans probably won't agree with this, but I think DJ Ogale has a better season than he was last year. You look at his numbers, I mean, he only threw nine touchdown passes, and he was pretty inconsistent throughout the year. Threw in 10, intercept 10 interceptions, his quarterback percentage wasn't good. Wasn't accurate at all, but I think he has a better season. I think he does redeem himself this season. I think Clemson has a better season as well. They get back into maybe making the college football playoff, and also I got Clemson going to the ACC championship this year. I know fans probably won't agree that Clemson will go to the ACC championship, but you never know. I mean, you never know with, with a talent that Clemson has coming back on both sides of the ball. I think this, is, this will be a better team than it was last year. Maybe they just took a step back. Maybe DJ Ogale didn't have his best year, but I think he does this year, and I think he is at number nine on this list. And then number eight is Cameron Rising of Utah. And it was a pretty tough call here for number eight. I was going to go with Sam Hartman, perhaps, but he is out for the whole season. He was going to be on this top ten list, but... Cameron Rising, I think, is a veteran quarterback. I think he's going to have a really good season. You look at his numbers from last year in 2021. He was 20 touchdown passes. I think he throws more touchdown passes that passes this year. Then he threw five interceptions, but he took care of the football pretty well. I think he's going to maybe throw over 3,000 yards this season, and he might lead this team. I'm, I'm saying Utah makes it to the college football playoff this year. If you watch my playoff prediction video this past few days, I said that Utah will be led by Cameron Rising and their veteran team to make it into the college football playoff. If Cameron Rising stays healthy, I mean, I think Utah will have a great season. And if he does get that completion percentage really good, I think he's going to have a really solid season at quarterback. And I think this Utah team has what it takes to be a really good team this year. Let's go to number seven now, and that is Devin Lowry of, of NC State. I think Devin Laurie is a veteran quarterback. You look at his numbers last year, 35 passing touchdowns, five interceptions, and he threw for over 3,000 yards. And he really was good in the completion percentage as well. I mean, he was almost one of the top quarterbacks from last season as well. But last year, I think Kenny Pickett was the best quarterback in the ACC. But I think Devin Laurie is perhaps the best quarterback coming into 2022 in the entire ACC conference. I mean, it's a possibility that he, could, that he might be the Heisman Trophy winner this year. I mean, he's a veteran quarterback. He's a winning quarterback. If he could stay consistent and also if he could stay healthy as well, he might lead NC State to the ACC Championship. I do have them, you know, not going to the ACC Championship, but I have them going to a New York Six Bowl game. 
I think this team has what it takes to be a really good team this season. But you got to watch out for the Wolfpack. Devin Laurie, though, he's going to have a pretty good season. I think I, I'm really pretty high on him. I think he will do ha will have a good season this year. Let's go to number six now. That's Hendon Hooker of Tennessee. I think people are kind of you know expecting somebody else, but looking at Hendon Hooker's numbers last year: 31 touchdown passes and three interceptions. Remember, he did not start in the first game of the year for Tennessee last season. I think if he would have started for Tennessee, Tennessee might have had a been a might have had a really good season. If he would have started all games last year. I mean, he, over, he almost threw for 3,000 yards last year. And look at that quarterback percentage. percentage. You know, it's 68%, almost close to 70%. If Hinton Hooker can stay consistent and also takes care of the football, Tennessee has a chance to be a really good team this year. And also, Hinton Hooker, I think he is definitely a Heisman candidate. I think everybody is pretty high on Hinton Hooker this year. I mean, I would I would say he's pretty hyped up as well. I mean, I think this is probably one of the best quarterbacks in Tennessee in a long time since Josh Dobbs left Tennessee. I think Hendon Hooker, after coming in from Tennessee last year, I think he's going to have a really solid season. We get to the top five now. We start with number five, and that's Spencer Rattler of South Carolina. He transferred from Oklahoma. But looking at his stats from last year, 11 touchdown throws, five interceptions, and only a thousand yards. Remember, he was sidelined and you know he was benched. But I think Spencer Rattler, you know, with his quarterback percentage, that puts him at number five in this countdown. That's why I had to go with him ahead of Hendon Hooker. But he transferred to South Carolina this year. I mean, he's reunited with Shane Beamer over there down at down there after coming over from Oklahoma. I think Spencer Rattler is going to be pretty good, you know, for South Carolina, and I think that's what leads them to a really good season, a solid season. I think this is going to be a really interesting year for Spencer Rattler, you know, ever since he came in there. But, you know, I know he he left Oklahoma, but I think this is a quality South Carolina team as well heading into this season. I mean, Spencer Rattler coming over, that's a big help for them. And I think he has what it takes to really compete in the SEC. We'll see how he does, though. If he stays consistent, he will have a good year. If he doesn't, he's not going to have a good year. But I think Spencer Rattler will have a great season. Let's go to number four now. That's Caleb Williams of USC. You know, he's coming in from the transfer portal as well. So two of the big quarterbacks, you know, of Oklahoma from last year are headed into the transfer portal. Caleb Williams, though, coming to USC this year with Lincoln Riley. You look at his stats from last year. Remember, he came off the bench, thrown 21 touchdown passes, four interceptions, and almost 2,000 yards as a true freshman. I think Caleb Williams is going to have a really good season. I think these, you know, numbers show why he's going to have a great year. And with that offense that USC runs, I think it's going to be really good. They brought in some transfers down there for him. And also, I think the transfer portal overall was just a big step for USC. And I think that's what's going to help Caleb Williams here to have a really good season. If he can stay consistent, though, he won't. If he he will have a really good season. If he does not, I mean, he's going to probably not have a good season but he is number four here on this list number three is Stinson Bennett from Georgia led the team to the national championship game last year you look at his numbers 29 touchdown passes seven interceptions almost a 3,000 yard season tell you what you know I get I give credit to Stinson Bennett people are kind of not really people are not really you know liking Stinson Bennett people have a lot of hate on him I think he's a good quarterback. I think he gives a lot of credit, you know, to what I've seen him from last year. I mean, he led the team to the national championship. Remember, he was redshirted and, you know, came in there as a walk-on. And I think Stinson Bennett deserves a lot of credit. You know, he he's led this team to the national championship. Is it going to be this year that he leads him to the championship game again? Probably not, but I think he does have a better – I think he does have a great season. You know, he's pretty consistent last year. I think he throws over 30 passing touchdowns this year as well. And I think that's why Stinson Bennett lands number three on this list. We go to the number two now, and that is C.J. Stroud of Ohio State. Looking at his numbers, 44 touchdown passes and over 4,000 yards and over 71% completion percentage. I probably would have put him at number one, to be honest. But C.J. Stroud, I think, is going to be a really talented quarterback coming into 2022. I mean, this guy is just... He's really good. You know, he's really good. I mean, those are some NFL numbers, to be honest, right there. 
when you look at his stats, I mean, you know, he looks like an NFL quarterback out there. I mean, he's going to be really good. And I got him going to the college football playoff with his team. And I got Ohio State winning the Big Ten championship as well. I think C.J. Stroud is going to have a really good season. If he throws for over 50 touchdown passes, I mean, that's a, that's got to be some record, right? I think it's the most probably since Joe Burrow. He kind of reminds me of Joe Burrow, to be honest, like when he was at LSU. I think, you know, he's kind of similar to him as well. But C.J. Stroud, I think, will have a great season. He's definitely a Heisman Trophy candidate, and I think he will have what it takes to really lead Ohio State to a big season. And number one is Bryce Young. I'm pretty sure everybody knew this was coming. Quarterback from Alabama winning, winning the Heisman Trophy last year. But 47 touchdown passes. That's got to be the most ever in Alabama history. Probably since A.J. McCarron back then. It's been a long time since Alabama's had a great quarterback. And I think that's Bryce Young. You know, Bryce Young is definitely, you know, the top quarterback almost in Alabama history. And, you know, he almost drove for 5,000 yards. If he does that this year... Bryce Young is definitely a first pick. He's definitely the first pick in the draft. I mean, if he stays consistent, you, you know, he didn't play his best game in the national championship game, but I think he is going to be better this year. And I, I know he's coming off the Heisman Trophy winning last year, but I think he does lead Alabama to the national championship this year. I do have Alabama winning it all, but I mean, if, if he stays healthy, Bryce Young has a chance to be really good for Alabama again, and he might win back-to-back -back Heisman trophies. You never know. But that concludes my top 10 quarterback list. I mean, I probably would have gone with Will Levis there from Kentucky, but I think he is pretty much, you know, too hyped up there. But I also would have gone with other quarterbacks like Sam Hardman, but he is out for the remainder of the year. But I think this is a pretty accurate list of quarterbacks. Let me know if you disagree, if you let me know if you agree with these picks. But that concludes my top 10 video. Stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.